very motivated to try to get back into this and uh, bring the Canadian team up. The next of the athletes for Canada will be Matthew Sharp, who also raced yesterday. A few of these countries will have athletes who will leave here tonight and tomorrow and head over to Lima, Peru for the Pan American Games. And obviously those are American countries, so Mexico, Venezuela, and others. Woo! That is Team Japan right there, Yuka Takahashi, all by herself. So 2020 uh, back in your backyard, fall up lots of uh, the world here. This will be the third time we've had world championships. I'm not sure. 2001, were you? You must have been around at that time. Yeah, I remember watching the world championships back in 2001. Simon Whitfield was racing. Maybe we can uh, listen to the announcer, right? We're not deaf, right? We're not deaf. I'm not deaf, right? Deaf, right? I'm not deaf, right? So it's really I'm not cool that actually can hear, right? Um, yeah, because you, yeah, the announcing, right? We're watching on um, screen the race, right? So We're not blind, like right? I mean, you and me are not blind. We can see, right? The screen. Well, it was great. I got not out deaf, also, right? On Thursday, and there were big banners in the airport. You can tell yeah, immediately might... there were fantastic volunteers to meet the athletes, welcome them. We're watching our chase group of athletes go after Coldwell from Great Britain, Kingma from the Netherlands, and Summer Rappaport, if that's a new name you're not uh, familiar with, it was Summer before, she just got married in the last 12 months, so the maiden name is being changed and it uh, takes a few months to get all the new names of what's occurred over the winter. 15 seconds the gap, so this group of three continuing to do an outstanding job out front right now and trying to hold on. Seth Ryder will be up next on the American side, and Seth was uh, in a small crash yesterday, but I saw him sporting the hotel, so he's motivated and ready to go. He'll have to be because uh, coming off the bike with uh, him will be Jonathan Bradley, who had his breakthrough uh, race after a couple of seasons of just the podium. He had an outstanding victory here yesterday, and I know that was something he was looking forward to. The Netherlands has the past uh, under-23 world champion, Jordan Van Eekham, so he'll be a, a strong man on the bike as well. Back up the hill. Some young athletes here, great to see the next generation getting an opportunity to race. Buddha from Mexico, Meisner, a young athlete from Germany that we haven't had a lot of experience uh, watching, and the Germans often will send some great young athletes. As we said, the Germans uh, had an per amazing performance. They were second at the World Championships in Hamburg uh, about five weeks ago. And that gap looks like it might be, if anything, just a few seconds larger. It's not getting much bigger, and it's not getting shorter. So two groups of extremely motivated athletes trying to keep each other in track. So the, the runs now, obviously, probably going to be really important. If we take a look, uh, Summer, probably the strongest of the three runners in the lead. So that would mean Seth Ryder might have himself a little bit of a gap as he goes into the water. It's a long run to get back to the water from the transition zone, so that in and of itself is probably an extra 600 meters, 300 down, 300 back. So if somebody happens to be particularly skilled on the run, they might be able to take back a couple of seconds as he gave up in the water. You can see the golf course right there, so that means they're just seconds away back into 750 meters. They'll start getting out of their shoes as we speak, and you can see Summer reaching down. With a group of 10 or 11, that'll be a little bit more chaotic, though. You, you'd probably prefer to have just three instead of 11 or 12 on the round here. Yeah, these girls have a bit of an advantage. This might be a little bit cleaner getting off the bike. Um, they've worked really well together through this whole two laps. And I know Summer's worked a ton on their bike skills and yeah. stayed with them and helped a lot with pulling the pack around. So, um, yeah, really impressive riding by all three of them. It's going to be interesting to see here who's got the running legs. As you said, Sophie and Summer both raced yesterday. Maya is absolutely fresh and realizes the value of helping her touch and get some international points for the team. Summer's got a faster 5K time, but this is just one mile and motivation and relay sometimes just a special thanks to you as a group of three are coming off and they're going to definitely not want to get in penalty. But you can see how close the chase is. It'll be less than eight or nine seconds back. So as the tractor changes in your run, it make all the difference. Go ladies!